All right, guys, it's up border Stu here. Thought I'd give a, a, a quick video into a new product that I've just got. Um, basically, it's a inflatable sub pump. Um, it's from Outdoor Masters and it's the Shark 2. First video on the channel um, where I actually talk and say hello. Um, so, a little bit about me briefly. Um, I've just started taking up uh, stand up paddle boarding, seen loads of videos and stuff online, and it just looks awesome. Uh, so, decided to do a lesson. Next thing you know, I'm totally hooked, so I ended up buying a board. Um, pumped it up as you saw in my first video that I put along, which is just a time lapse of sort of like the unboxing. And I soon realized that you'd be a lot better off actually getting an electric pump. So this video is an unboxing and a review um, because of the videos that I've seen online, there's not really a great deal of information on pumping up um, touring boards, uh, specifically um, anything over sort of like, you know, the standard 10.6. So I have a Kurok All Water 13 foot uh, six inch board um, that's I believe 31 or 32 inches wide. So the volume on this board is 330 liters, so it's, it's a lot to pump up manually, especially up to 18 or 20 psi, which is the recommended set on this board. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So I ordered this board uh, directly from Outdoor Masters uh, website. Um, the price is in dollars and it's something like $169. Um, but at the minute, if you check them out on Facebook, they've got a discount code, 15%, which is also as well you can see that it comes tracked 48 hours so i made the order on this one um probably on i think it was a tuesday and it arrived by the thursday so uh cracking service so even though it is international delivery it comes very very quickly so opening up the outer box and another box joy so the reason i want for this pump uh, and over the others is because of its uh, max psi rating so you can see on here that it goes up to uh, 20 psi with my board having a max psi rating of 20 or a recommended psi of 20 it just seemed like the right choice plus as well that the actual pumping speed at first stage goes to 350 liters per minute so it should get up to um, the first stage pretty quickly and the satisfaction of pulling off the plastic nice So yeah, as you can see, this is my board. This is the Kurok All Water 13 foot. So it's a big boy, because I'm a big boy. I'm 105 kilos, six foot, uh, and I needed that something to carry uh, my extra weight. So I have the pump. Just quickly turn this around. Doing this one-handed. Uh, check that that's, is it check that it's up or check that it's down? Check that it's up, I think, isn't it? Yeah, check that it's up. Okay, so one quick thing. Uh, the actual grommet, or the, the washer that came with it on the, the SUP um, one, was this big thick one. And I couldn't actually get enough pressure into it to um, put the valve in. So I just took one off off of this one uh, again I don't know which one that is but that allowed me to get it in and hopefully that's a good seal we shall find out but if we come down to the pump we can see that we've now got some zeros and a PSI if I can get that out of the reflection okay so PSI I'm guessing that's set to 20 PSI because it's flashing and you would just change it whilst it's uh, doing whatever. So I shall set it to, uh, we'll do the 18 PSI first, just to see how it goes and see how long it takes. Um, you can already hear the internal fan on this one. Um, 
now the good thing with this is it's got its internal cooling um, already built in so it's the, they, the website claims you can do three boards without having to uh, stop in between and let it cool down depending on the temperatures here at the minute uh, we've got a hot nice hot day it's it's a good 28 degrees here in the UK at the minute um, so hopefully we'll see how this goes So that was about 14 minutes to 18 psi on a 330 litre 13 foot 6 inch stand up paddle board. Um, so yes it's a little bit slower, um, it's a little bit slower than um, the hand pump but I'm not out of breath. Um, it's a little bit noisy as you can probably hear but it's just a standard 12 volt pump. So all in all, money well spent I think, because um, I plan on uh, doing quite a lot of regular paddle boards. I'm off two weeks at a time with work. I work two weeks on, two weeks off, I work at sea. Um, and that's just gonna save me loads of effort and energy. Yes, the argument is it's good exercise and, and all this stuff, but um, happy days. So my overall, uh, impression of this uh, Shark Outdoor Master 2 is, is rather fantastic. So, um, you know, in pounds I think it was about 105 to 110 pounds depending on how much the conversion rate is. Um, so it's not cheap and there are cheaper alternatives but thumbs up for me. Happy days. Now I'm just going to deflate it and uh, pack it all away and uh, head out tomorrow for my first paddle on it. Can't wait. So hope that was a bit helpful. Um, and uh, you know a little bit more um, suitable to your needs if you've got a touring board especially anything over uh, 300 litres of volume um, yeah hope you enjoyed the first video and uh, plenty more to come so you know standard plug like subscribe and, and all that jazz and um, hopefully you'll like the content I put out <laughs>